good day and welcome to Biomedical Science. Today, we'll be talking about blood fractionation. Blood fractionation is the process by which you separate blood into its component parts, such as erythrocytes, leukocytes, and platelets. And we have different types of centrifuges to do this. But today, we'll be talking about how to use the benchtop centrifuge. To carry out blood fractionation of the centrifuge, a few materials are required beforehand. These are a 5 ml pipette, a syringe connected to a rubber tubing, centrifuge tubes, and of course, a freshly prepared sample of blood. For safety reasons, before carrying out the experiment, please wear your lab coats and your gloves. Begin the procedure by transferring a portion of blood sample into the centrifuge tubes using a syringe. Fill it to the brim. Remember to cover the tube tightly. Next, place the centrifuge tubes into the centrifuge holder. Ensure that the tubes are placed directly opposite each other. If there are an odd number of samples, compensate by putting another centrifuge tube filled with water on the other side. To begin centrifuging, close the lid and turn this knob to set the rotation speed to maximum. Next, set the timer to 10 minutes. At this point, the machine will start rotating as indicated by the green light here. After centrifugation, blood will separate into two layers. A clear supernatant forms at the top, which separates from the heavier erythrocytes. Our next step involves washing the red blood cells. Using a pipette, Remove the supernatant carefully without disturbing the bottom layer. Once this is done, use a saline solution to replace the supernatant. Cover the tube and give it a good shake. Once this is done, repeat the procedure by a total number of three times to ensure that the blood and plasma are completely separated. And with that, this concludes our tutorial for blood fractionation. Thank you.